start. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here, I'm going to show you how to steal up a tank the proper way. And most people steal up tank when they don't do it the way it's supposed to be done. So we are here now, we're going to bend some steel. We're not going to cut it. It's the full length, so we're going to bend it according to the size of the tank. So the tank is at 18 by 12. So we are here now to bend this steel. This is called a U-bar. So we're gonna bend it just as this. And then we're gonna move the, the cutter now and go this side. This is a U-bar, just as how the tank stay, this is how we bend it. So when you put it in the tank now, it gives you a proper reinforcement. So it can't pull no side because it, it balance on every side thus far. Yes, so these are the U-bar that we were bending much earlier. As you can see, I just one thing bend, you know, cut no steel. So the whole structure is much stronger than if you cut it. So you can even use a crane right now and take up this and put it somewhere else. So this is what we were talking about. This is how you steal up a tank. Some people would normally do a little over support, but don't build in a drop up, you drop down. No matter how you over support you, if you drop down, it's going to drop down. But I think this is firm enough. So you have the columns them to support the wall. So this is it. So we have. This is like a basin. So I'm tying up the bottom of the steel, the, the tank, you know. Firm it up. It's like a, a mini decking, you know. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, please remember to subscribe, share, like the video, and leave the comment in the comment section let me know what is going on.
like this where you see on the ground, we're gonna put stone on it and catch it up like this so everything is off the ground. So you can't have the concrete. So the concrete must be in the center, rather the steel must be in the center of the concrete. So you don't have no steel on the ground here, leave without concrete go underneath it. <laughs> so right around the way that's about the earthquake. Yes, yeah, so this is more solid for this is the best way even if you have earthquake, you can avoid earthquake still. Yeah. But you do it the best way you can. Because if the earthquake I hope my earth will walk my pan. But when you do it like this, every black hole gets a steel in it, it is more firmer. So even if you have an earthquake, the steel can resist to a point. So at least you can whatever you do, do your best. So that's all I can say. Just do your best. 